Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had someone email me this morning wanting to draw this exact shape with these curved, he's actually a plasma cutter, he's making a plate so he can rotate something with a bolt in it. This is kind of easily done uh, to specifications. Um, it's a little bit more tricky, but I'm just going to draw a generic one real quick to show you how to get this shape right here. Um, so what we do, we're going to take a, I'm holding down my control button and getting this even circle. I'm going to put P and we're going to make this circle 10 inches. I've got my ratio lock so they're equal. Let's zoom in here. We're going to control D and make a duplicate and we're going to make that second one 9 inches. And then we're going to take our ellipse tool, hold down the control key and draw one at 0.51 because this is a one inch difference, but it's only half of an inch between the layers up top. We're gonna to hit P on the keyboard. I'm holding down the shift key and I'm clicking on the outside one and I'm gonna hit T like a Tom. Now, because it's a little bit bigger, uh, it's hitting at the top. So we need to, and you'll see why we need to do that in just a second. We want, so my nudge factor is set on real low, so I'm gonna just nudge it up where it's kind of equal. I'm going to make a duplicate of that, control D. I'm going to double click and move the rotation in the center. I like using the crosshairs and that way I can see if I'm getting close. We're going to rotate this one 30 degrees. This one, we're going to rotate 300 to 360 degrees because that's 30 degrees from the other side, 330 degrees. Now all you have to do is take your virtual segment delete key and delete these inner lines. And that's why I made it a hair bigger so it would delete without deleting everything. Take your smart fill tool and fill in that space. And there you have it. So let's move it back and delete everything else. Tell you what, put our nudge factor and I want it right there. So let's put our nudge factor two inches. Let's nudge this over a couple of times. Let's delete those two lines we do not need. Let's nudge it back right where it was. Let's control D and make a duplicate of it. Double click on it, make a rotation in the center. Check it. A lot of times if you don't hit that X, Corel will give you the shape tool. Let's delete it or let's rotate it 90 degrees. Control D. 180 degrees, control D. Now we're going to bring in an 11 inch circle. Control, I'm holding down the control key. You can make it 11 or 12. We're just doing it for the drawing and hit P on the keyboard. Now we can take away our fill just so you can see what it's going to look like. So we have these slots. They would take you a good wall to draw, and they're pretty good. They're not perfect because we started out at 5.1 and you could probably take some time and maybe make them a little bit smaller so they wouldn't delete through. But anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.